Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript 30 days of lead code challenge. Now here today we are with the problem number 2637 which is promise time limit. That means here, uh, let's read the question. Given an asynchronous function fn and a time t in milliseconds, return a new time limited version of the input function. Function takes the arguments provided to the time limited function. So it's like it is taking it one function with a specific time and that particular function uh, has to be having in a time limited that means only within that specific time the function should work imagine otps one function is there you have to check it like whether your otp is correct or not that is your logic but it should happen within one minute if the one minute is over then your function which is like checking your otp should not happen it's like time over should print now that is what they mentioned it here. The time limited function should follow these rules. If the function completes within the time limit, within the one minute if the guy enters the OTP, that should work as it is, the function should work. In that case, if the execution of the function exceeds the time limit, if it is not taking it in that particular time, ima imagine you are calling some API request and that request should happen within one minute. Imagine the getting the request and taking the details is taking more than certain time, then it should not happen, it should stop it. You should get an error, reject the promise, you should uh, with the something called time limit exceeded. Okay, so here basically here two uh, functions were there, one is with a promise and another one with uh, a function now a promise is like uh, which will be an asynchronous function will returns these promises it's an object which will define whether eventual completion whether it will in in future it will complete it or not based on reject or result now let's see here original function is fn and uh, here you are having it something arguments also in this case let's create an uh, let's create let's create a timed rejecting promise so i just want to create an a promise which will reject after a specific time so let's go here let timed function timed function which is equals to a new promise and here this new promise will may reject or resolve but I don't want it to resolve I am checking it for only the logic of reject that means after a specific time it should reject now how it should reject it should say some logic like set timeout set timeout now inside the set timeout you will use some arrow function comma you will set in set in time so if the time after the specific time you will use something called reject and you will write it here the rejected logic if the rejecting is happening you should specify the time time limit exceeded if the reject is happening you will write it something like time limit exceeded imagine if this is not working like if uh, if within that specific time the function runs like it is not going for the rejected one then in that case you have to print it that particular function only so how it will work so you have to return whichever the function comes first you have two function one is like otp verifying one is like the timed checking so whichever the first if the time checking is the first one it should reject if the otp is first one it should verify so both the ones are in a race so you have to check it which one is first go here promise dot race and here you are writing it an array which is a race between a function with arguments comma a timed function so here two functions are there one is timed function one is a function with the arguments let's just run it let's just run it just a minute it is asking it multiple requests in a certain time so let's run it one more time 
which got accepted. So here you got a timed function and here you got it something in a function with an arguments ARGS. So they both are in a race, whichever the first one will wins the race and promises will resolve whichever the first one. So promise dot race will take it to promises, whichever the comes first, whichever resolves first will come here. And now in our case, if the user enters OTPs first, then his OTP verifying function will run. If the time tickling one, if for example, the time of one minute is over first, then the rejection will happen first. Okay, this is what the submitted solution. You can check it on for more uh, videos. You can check it on our other videos in the lead code. Thank you all. Thank you.